Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be trying to build an ultimate LCG crawler rig for under £150. So, we're using this Endura uh, LCG kit for the TRX4. All the links and skid and that are made to, to accept the TRX4 parts. Now, we're not talking about this one, which is a SCX10 chassis kit. So this is the kit here. There's no um, number on there. Oh, we do have an extra little baggie with a, a round post and some screws in there. On the front of the kit, this one does say T4LCG. Uh, um, it's just a bag full of stuff. So let's take a look and see what's in here. So first of all, Little screws, a round pole. Hmm. Okay, so that's that. And inside, obviously, the main parts we have the two chassis rails. Very nice looking, nice quality carbon fibre. Nice and smooth, feels like it's actually sealed. Uh, yeah, the frame rails look pretty nice. Uh, what else have we got? Blimey. Okay, so this appears to be a battery tray. Comes with some, I'm assuming that's like a self adhesive pad. Let's have a look. So, again, the battery tray is nice quality. Countersunk holes on that side. The slots for the strap comes with a little battery strap. That's a nice, decent sized strap. All oh, these things come with really small ones. That's pretty decent. Uh, so we got the two screws to attach the plate. And this, oh, is this, well, this is a Velcro by looks of it. Oh, hook and loop. So got some self adhesive hook and loop. I assume that's for the battery. You have plenty to run on there. So there we go. We know we don't need to buy a battery tray. Oh, body posts. Yes, I wasn't sure if it would come with body posts or not. Oh, and they're metal as well. Quite nice. They're very similar to the SCX10 body posts, but these ones are actually metal. Nice flange on the top there. Yeah, and these are. Actual mounts that they go in are oh, also aluminium. Mm, pretty nice. Comes with all the screws, and you get even extra body clips two, four, six, eight body clips. So we know we don't have to buy body clips. So these, I'm assuming this is the same. That's the one that was in that little baggie on the back. Yes, yeah, same size. These are just the chassis spacer rods that go in between these two parts. Four of those. And a little packet. It's got some you know, like spacers of some sort. Some nuts and various different size screws. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, what else do we have? <laughs> Whatever this is, a little piece of carbon fibre. Hmm. One little piece of carbon fibre like that. I have no idea what that is. More screws. Hmm. What else do we have? Oh, that looks like a motor mount. I'm assuming that that must be a belly skid. That's one of the things I wasn't sure about. <laughs> ok. 
can I have no idea what that is. That would have, I'm assuming that's going to be, yeah, so we've got the hulls on the side there. And on this side, so that's going to be the very bottom where the gearbox attaches to. And I'm guessing this cut out is for a drive shaft to be able to slide in and out of there. There's holes on all four sides. <coughs> no idea what that is. We shall find out. Oh, nice thick motor mount. Good, they thought about the drive shaft location. And again, a whole load more screws and things like that. Indeed. Ooh. There they are, the aluminium skids. That's nice, and these will go on the sides. Either side of the... Uh, chassis. Very, very thin aluminium plates. Nice. And then of course the link kit. Uh, this kit that I bought came with two sets of links. One for a 330mm wheelbase, one for a 324mm wheelbase. Got rod, rod ends in there as well. Oh, so that's just the for the front. I wonder why they gave you two sets. The front set is a full set. Has all of the links in for all of the front and rear suspension. And then this one I'm guessing is just going to be the rear suspension. Extra links. Tons of ball ends. And there we go. Let's get two of these sticker sheets. Yeah, and that's all the parts, so let's see what it looks like when we actually put this thing together and I'll show you the whole thing when it's built. Okay so this is what the chassis looks like now. We've assembled quite a bit of it. Um, so the, the centre skid gearbox plate goes in. Um, it turns out that little metal part bolts here. Supports again. I suppose they can go anywhere. Really, it doesn't. There's no specific place to put them. Um, I couldn't put them in these front holes because that's where the bumper mount is going to go. I couldn't use this next hole because on this side, that's where the. Uh, I think this is a panard mount. Goes on this side. Um, it just pushes in, and then a screw through there and a captive nut in the side there. Um, and again, you've got multiple positions for your body posts, suspension and shocks all around here. And I just want to show you the difference between, so that side I've put as a fully raised up, and on the other side, it's like as low as it'll go. Um, move them out, just screws on with three screws, that's very obvious. These side pods, uh, there's a very specific way you have to do this. So this, the, the, the bottom skid will only line up with certain holes. There's a bunch of holes along it, and it'll only line up with, in a certain position. And then the skid will only line up in a certain position as well. So you have to go through the outside of the skid, through the frame, and then the threaded part is on the actual um, gearbox mount. So once you figure it out, it's not that difficult. Um, and then we've put the rear links on but obviously I don't know where these are going to go uh, it very much depends where the axle is going to sit um, and uh, I'm not using the TRX4 axles on this I'm using some uh, axial AR45 axles from a SCX103 so I don't know exactly where it's going to sit but obviously there's uh, multiple different spots around here that you could mount them on Oh, and the little spaces, so it turns out these little spaces here are for the shock. 
so it spaces out your shock nicely. Uh, so you screw those through the shock, through the spacer, through the frame, and then screws into one of the strengthening posts that goes between the body. Uh, but again, I haven't, don't know where exactly the shock's going to sit, so yeah, we need the axles for that. Uh, the only part I haven't yet fitted is the battery mount, because I don't believe that screws anywhere onto the frame. Uh, I can only assume those two holes are reminiscent of the two screw holes in the bottom of a battery box on a TRX4. So once the actual once the actual gearbox is in, I believe that will fit to the back of the gearbox um, as your battery mount. Now I'm probably not going to mount the battery on it to be honest, uh, but I will fit it because I think it looks nice. It's a nice piece of carbon fiber there, and I'm just having a half cab body. So, uh, you know, you might actually be able to see this sticking out of the back. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I say, I haven't fitted any of the front links yet. All the front links are still here. I've got a bunch of them. Again, because I'm just not sure where they're going to mount, where the axles go. So it makes sense for now to stop it here. Uh, and in the next video, we're going to have to see if we can get a gearbox. I might earn some axles put on this thing. So I'll uh, see you in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.